Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. Big week ahead, of course, uh, Thanksgiving week. A lot of traveling as well. Well, first of all, but what an improved day today compared to what we had yesterday on Sunday with the rain and the wind. Sunshine today, uh, warming things up into the uh, lower 50s. And an even milder day uh, coming up on Tuesday. We're thinking somewhere between 55, almost 60 in a couple of locations as we take a look at what we're keeping an eye on well for one milder temperatures next couple of afternoons 55 to near 60 on tuesday temps should be well into the 50s on wednesday but it will come with some scattered rain showers during the afternoon and evening so of course this week's a big travel week especially wednesday traditionally one of the busiest travel days of the year the day before thanksgiving uh, does not look stormy here locally but we'll have some scattered rain showers during the afternoon and evening. And storm potential for the latter part of the, of the upcoming weekend, uh, Sunday, some rain and snow potentially. Still six days down the road. Thanksgiving, I guess the good news here is that it's dry. A mix of clouds and sun, a little colder, but a very windy day. Gusts between roughly 30 and 40 miles per hour, so a blustery day, but happy to say we don't have any rain or snow in the forecast. All right, take a look at the satellite. And radar composite, uh, New England is, is fairly quiet. Had some patchy clouds come through earlier. Uh, take a look at uh, a few features that we're watching. And we'll stick them on here. One is a system across the Great Lakes. Uh, that'll lift to our north. That's really not a concern to us. But moisture across uh, the Colorado Rockies, that system will track north and east on Wednesday. So it'll bypass to our west. And what it'll do is it'll draw in some milder temperatures on Wednesday and bring us some scattered rain showers right now i'm thinking afternoon and evening so i don't think it's a high impact kind of a situation for new england but some rain showers uh nonetheless so we'll talk about that in more detail in just a second let's first start kind of upper local here take you through the evening and into the overnight and into early tomorrow morning uh tuesday 7 a.m starts off uh, between roughly 35 and 40 so a cool dry start with sunshine look at the temperatures well, that's pretty nice for late November, mid and upper 50. Some spots could nudge 60 around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. Evening commute, 6 o'clock, looking good, cool and dry with clear skies. And then later, Tuesday night at 11 o'clock, cool but not cold with a temperature coming in at 45. So you're running some, you know, some last-minute errands and some shopping and things like that, or you have people coming into town. Good travel weather, at least locally. So for your Tuesday morning, sunny skies, cool and dry, starts off um, in the lower to middle 40s. And then during the afternoon hours, uh, real nice day. I mean, this is pretty upper 50s with a good deal of sunshine. Now, Wednesday, traditionally, as I said earlier, a busy travel day. So, you know, we take a look at, uh, you know, the northeastern United States. And the yellow represents minor uh, travel issues in terms of the weather. Uh, green is good, and then re uh, red is slightly moderate um, impacts as far as the weather. And you can see that's highlighted through the upper Midwest, uh, Chicago, uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Uh, notice here in New England, um, not too much. You got some splashes of yellow indicating maybe some minor impacts due to some scattered rain showers. In fact, this is what the impact map looks like. Let's show you the actual weather in this sector. Uh, very windy, cold. A snowy kind of across the Great Lakes, gusty winds at Chicago O'Hare may cause some delays. And then here in uh, upstate New York, um, the Northeast, New England, uh, just some scattered uh, rain showers coming through, windy and mild. So that may have some minor issues at some of the bigger airports. But as far as high impact, uh, I don't really see too much of a problem, at least across uh, New England. All right, here's your seven-day forecast showing the beautiful weather on on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, breezy and mild, mid-50s. I don't think this is anything major coming through, but a few rain showers afternoon and evening. Uh, Thanksgiving Thursday, happy to say it is dry, but, you know, chilly, cooler. But 48, nothing unusual for that for a late November, but a very windy day. Um, it'll be interesting, New York City, the Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade. If these winds are too strong for some of these floats and balloons, there is a wind criteria uh, for that parade. Of course, the, those, uh, those floats are mammoth. So we'll keep you updated on that. But overall, a windy, dry, chilly uh, Thanksgiving Thursday. Friday, busy shopping day, Black Friday, heading to the malls. Bright sunshine, chilly and dry. Temps between uh, like 40, 45. Saturday's nice but cold. 
Then watching Sunday, Monday, I mean, this is, you know, six, seven days out, but we're seeing signs of a cold rain, maybe some wet snow. I'm kind of leaning towards a cold rain rather than snow, but I can't rule out some snow or at least a change to snow for a little bit. Cold, kind of raw Sunday into early Monday with temps in the upper 30s to lower 40s, but that, that's still <laughs> six, seven days down the road. In the short term, beautiful Tuesday. Uh, scattered rain showers Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Your Thanksgiving is dry but very windy, uh, kind of chilly with temps in the mid to, middle to upper 40s. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.